Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Liu. Welcome to a new project I've been working on. It's called Real Makeup, Real Women. It will be a series featuring a different woman for each tutorial. These are not professional models, they're just people that I've met when I'm out and about. There are only so many makeup looks I can demonstrate using my own face. And I've always loved doing makeup on other people, whether it's for a special event, TV or a photo shoot. So today I want to introduce to you Kathleen, who will be my model for this tutorial. A couple of weeks ago, I was quite frustrated. I was looking everywhere for the right model for this series. and. I kind of put out a magic spell into the universe, as it were. I was like, oh, please send me the right model. And the funny thing was my husband, Joe, and I went to a local cafe and we were sitting there having coffee and lo and behold, Kathleen and her husband walk in. I said to Joe, that's who I want to use for my next video. And he said, quick, give her a card. So I did. And I didn't quite know how she would respond because she already looked quite well put together. But I gave her my card and she agreed to come here today. So here we are. So this is Kathleen. Welcome, Kathleen. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, Kerry Lou. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I was so happy when I saw Kathleen coming into that cafe with her husband. I was like, ah, oh, this is our woman. This is who I want to model for us. I saw that lovely silver hair and those blue eyes. And um, now I cannot wait to get started. Let's talk about that silver hair. How long okay. have you been silver for? A couple of years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You just decided you had enough of coloring your hair? I did. I did. It was almost as simple as that. And um, yeah, I haven't regretted it. I've, I've probably should have done it sooner. I know. Yeah. Uh, most people feel that way. Yeah. When, when they finally do it, they're like, oh my God, I wish mm -hmm. I had done mm -hmm. this years ago and saved all that time and money on yeah. dye. Exactly. And it goes so great with your look, with well, your you. blue eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So today we're definitely going to play up those blue eyes of Kathleen's and it's going to be a very clean, natural look on her skin. And so without any further ado, let's get started. Great. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use Lancome's Skin Feels Good Foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on with a brush. You could use your fingers. And I'm starting at the place that you need the most cover up. You have a little bit of a rosy complexion. And I like a rosy complexion, but I kind of like to rearrange the rosiness, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I'll play it down a little bit in the nose area and maybe we can keep it exposed where I would normally put blush on anyway. It's so nice though that you can just put a little cover up and you don't have to put blush on. That's good. So Kathleen, how long have you been in real estate for? I have been in real estate for about uh, over 20 years, actually. Oh, yeah. wow, yeah. that's a long time. Yeah, I started when my children were very little. They're now both married. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, selling real estate in the Essex County area for quite some time. Nice. So how old are your children now? Uh, they are 30 and 34. Yeah. Wow. And, and I think you mentioned that they had weddings yes. within the last yes. couple of years. They were both married last year. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Both, two oh, in one year. In oh one year. my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Uh, so did you get your makeup done for the wedding? You know, I didn't. I should have. Um, and I didn't. Yeah. But you if never I know how you, it's going. If I had known you. <laughs> I wish we knew each other. <laughs> exactly. then. It just elevates the way you look. You know? Yes. It, yeah. That's a good word it, for it. It's just as simple as that. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a little bit more redness out mm -hmm. here. Everything else is a very thin coat of makeup. This is a Bobbi Brown foundation stick. Just for when we need a little bit more coverage. Mm -hmm. there, that's all I needed. Good. Next, we're going to do a little under eye concealer, and this is Bobbi Brown's Intensive Skin Serum Concealer. The color is Cool Sand. I know a little goes a long way, 
so I'm just going to dot it underneath like so you can use your fingertips or you can use a brush when you use a brush you can get nice and close under the lash line and I really put on a little bit more than I actually needed so if you'd close your eyes Kathleen I'll just take it on the upper lid too that way it makes the lids nice and even for when you put on the eyeshadow it's nice to start with a blank canvas same thing on this side and look up a little bit that's good and don't forget to get right in here most people forget that and that area if it's dark it can make us look a bit tired and close your eyes that's good next I'm going to use Laura Mercier blush this color is called blaze and um, it's not quite a cream and not quite a powder it's kind of one of those hybrids so I'm just going to put it on with my fingers make a nice cloud of color around here now some people may look at this and think well why did I take out all that rosiness and now I'm putting some back in well that's because it's nice to put the rosiness kind of upwards it gives a nice uplift to the face it draws your eye upward if it's just in this area it brings your gaze lower this mm. makes your face look more upswept does that make sense it does <laughs> it does I have to remember that okay and I like to also put just a little bit around the perimeter of your face just to give a healthy glow up here too you can always go back to our brushes sometimes I just use my fingers sometimes I use brushes I do things differently all the time my husband always tells me hey you never do things the same way twice <laughs> and it's true always improving <laughs> that's a really nice positive way to see it so this is a little loose powder it's uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder all these items will be listed in the description below the video so you don't have to stop and start the video <laughs> some people tell me hey you're saying the names too fast it's all written in the description the whole list and I'm just doing a very very light layer over the lid too this is going to help the powder shadow go on without sticking and streaking okay so this is a really nice bronzer this is one of my favorites it's by Trish McAvoy and I'm just going to put a little bit around the perimeter of Kathleen's face just to give a nice nice healthy glow this color is called matte bronzer in medium I like to use a matte bronzer shimmer can emphasize uh, wrinkles oh don't want that no <laughs> you can even dust a little bit over your lids that way if you're ever not applying eyeshadow this will substitute especially if you have lovely blue eyes like yours it almost looks like um, did you ever have a day at the beach and then you you have a nice color this was back when we used to tan mm -hmm, my, mm -hmm. by the way not now but you'd look in your rearview mirror at your eyes and they would look so much more blue mm -hmm. because you had like this nice glow sure. around <laughs> sure okay so next now we're going to do the eyebrows so always look at yourself dead on in the mirror and just check your eyebrows out is one higher than the other is there anything that you want to alter your eyebrows grow in a nice way so even though they're thin you have a nice guide here to follow you really don't have to do much correcting so I'm just going to be drawing very fine lines almost to imitate the hairs in the direction they're growing this is the arch here if you want to find out where your arch is mm -hmm. you simply take the pencil take it through the iris and that's where the highest point should be that's where your arch should be so first of all I like to go to that point and then I just give it a little tail and your eyebrows make it easy 
I don't have to deal with a lot of hair. <laughs> It's nice if you have full eyebrows, but even if you don't, it's, it's nice in another way because you can just do them exactly how you like. This is a Bobbi Brown pencil in gray. I like it because it doesn't have any yellowness to it. It's very hard to find a gray pencil, something that's a true gray. There's lots of taupes out there and they can be too yellow or a little bit orangey, but this one is a really nice true gray okay so this is one of my favorite colors it's always in my makeup kit it's called rose quartz and it's by i believe that's by trish mcavoy now some of these colors that i'm using i put in my palette when i'm working but they're very easy to get a lot of brands sell palettes that you can do your own freestyle collection of eyeshadows because you don't always want to shop with the same brand mm -hmm, mm -hmm because Mac sells singles, Trish McAvoy sells singles, um, Makeup Geek, there's, there's a lot there that are doing this now. So you can put together your own look. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice kind of peachy rosy color. Close your eyes and I'm going to just dust this lightly across the lid. I'm using my big fluffy brush. I like to put the color on using one half of the brush i should say one side of the brush and then the other side of the brush i like to keep clean and that way you can use it for blending and you make a nice gradation of color that way so for the contour i'm going to use this color um, it's hard to describe this color it's almost like um, a pale plum or a mauve and the reason i'm using this color is because Kathleen has deep contours. She is so lucky. I have to kind of try to cheat them on. But um, if you already have deep contours and you go with something dark, you can make the face, you can make your eyes look a little bit too gaunt if you're not careful. So just close your eyes for me. I'm just going to put this kind of rosy color in here and you'll see the effect it has. And I'm using a, a fresh fluffy brush. You can't have too many of these brushes. It's nice to work with clean ones, otherwise your makeup can end up looking somewhat muddy. And you'll see the effect this has when I get Kathleen to open her eyes. Open your eyes, that's good. So if I had gone with like a gray or a dark color, it would have almost looked sunken in there. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want that. So this softens the area, softens the brow bone. Another one of my favorite colors, this is Vanilla by MAC. And I'm putting it right under the arch of the brow. Just a little bit. You don't have to go too crazy with highlights. So Kathleen, when you look at me, I can see the top waterline of your eyes. That is, um, I'm just, just for the viewers, I'm going to point out, this is the waterline, the lower waterline, and this is the upper waterline. So I'm going to demonstrate a technique. It's an eyeliner technique that um, it's going to make, really set your blue eyes off. And it's going to make your eyes look well, it's a little bit of a sexy look. You'll see what I mean. So um, there's a certain amount of trust with this too. So look down a little mm -hmm. bit and I'm going to just pull your eye up very gently and it's touching the lashes like so. The nice thing about this is that um, it's not such an obvious eyeliner. And you, then we can put just a little bit here going right through the lashes. The lashes are a little bit thin on the ends, so this is going to give the illusion of fuller lashes. And then you can just get a little uh, Q-tip, look down a little bit. So next I'm going to use um, this beautiful smoky grey color by MAC, it's one of their fluid liners let's get the name straight for you it's called pro longwear fluid line 
Usually I use the black one, but today I'm going to use this lovely color. I wonder why they called it Midnight Snack. <laughs> Maybe somebody was trying to think of the name of the color and it was midnight and they needed a snack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm using an angled brush and I'm just tapping it above the lashes. It's very easy. These angled brushes make it a little bit easier than a regular skinny one. And if you look over that way a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just little strokes like that. You almost use your lashes as, as a guide. Okay, let me see. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wow, such a great color. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna take it up here a little bit. I like to curl in a few different places on the lashes so it's more of a C curve than an L curve. Do it on this side. Nice. Just for hygiene purposes, I'm using a disposable mascara wand. You could use this one yourself, although sometimes people like a, a smaller one. It's a little bit less messy, I find. Get right to the root, that's good. So I'm just going to do, uh, just look up this way, a little bit of liner. This is a taupe color and I'm hardly going to put anything under here. It's just to fill in a little bit of the gaps in the lashes. Very subtle. There we go. Look up a little bit. That's good. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of lip liner. Um, your lips are quite even. So all I have to do really is follow what's there. I'm not really going to go on the outside of them at all. This is just going to help your lip color stay longer. This is a nice natural rosy color. This is by MAC. The color is called Soar. Soar like a bird, not soar like cold soar. <laughs> Next we're going to use a Bobbi Brown lip color and it's Uber pink and this is definitely one of my favorites. I don't think I've met anyone that this color does not look great on. I like it because it's a nice rosy everyday color but it's definitely there. You know how s some colors are just too washy. Mm -hmm. This one is beautiful. It adds, it's got a lot of life in it. Beautiful. Oh, that's a really pretty color. I think you'll like that. Okay, so I think we are finished. Great, I can't wait. Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Good, good. <laughs> this is exciting. There you go. Oh, very pretty. I love the colors, especially the softness of the eye. Yes, yes. Very, very pretty. I'm glad you like it. I do like it. Good. <laughs> very pretty. Now, if I can only do this myself. Oh, you will. You'll, you'll have a video to refer to Perfect. every step. Perfect. I'm going to need Not it. Not many people have that. No, that's right. That's right. That is, that, oh, that's for sure. This has been fun. Yeah, I love it. So I hope all my viewers enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think of this series. Real makeup, real women. So we'll see you next time. Bye.